In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the best computer mouse for photo editing in Luminar Neo. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Luminar Neo tutorial. I'm following up on many requests asking me about the gear I use when I edit in Luminar. Now, based on that, I have decided to create multiple videos on this topic. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the computer mouse. Plus, before we're going to start, make sure you stay until the end of the video where you can learn how to join our giveaway, where you can win the mouse we're going to be talking about today. Now, coming back to the video. A mouse is a part of the computer gear that is often overlooked. And while many photographers use tablets for many of the photo editing tasks, a good quality computer mouse can make your life much easier. But what are some of the important features for us photographers when it comes to computer mouse? Starting with the basics for photo editing mouse, of course that you want it to be precise and smooth for detailed editing and also comfortable to use even for extended periods. Now in 2023 and 24, you want a little bit more. Talking about the precision and smoothness, you want all of this to be done on all surfaces. Plus, the battery should have a long lasting life, allowing you to pretty much forget the last time you charge it. Moving on, it should be effortless to use on all your devices and it also should be really quiet. Additionally, it should have a few customizable buttons. Now, without you knowing, I have just described features of what is, in my opinion, one of the best photo editing mouses on the market. I'm talking about the Logitech MX Master 3S. I've been using this mouse for almost three years now, and even though it's a little bit pricey, I would recommend it to anyone. So let's look at the mouse and let's see what makes it so special. The Logitech mouse with the name MX Master 3S is available on the Logitech website or with all the traditional sellers. It comes in a dark and a white versions and it's compatible with all the traditional operating systems. Depending on the time of the year, the price is usually around $100 or £100. Talking about the precision and smoothness on all surfaces, the MX Master 3S uses an 8000 DPI sensor, which performs incredibly well on any size of your screen, Plus, it will track even on glass. In reality, the mouse has fast and smooth movement around the screen and it responds accurately to small movements that allows you to make fine adjustments to any slider. Its smooth operation will also help you with masking adjustments without any jitters or lags. When it comes to the comfort, the mouse has a perfect design that ensures comfort even for long editing sessions. I really enjoy the fact that the mouse is a little bit bigger and it has a specific resting space for the thumb that allows you to use some of its custom buttons. Now let's talk about the battery for this mouse. Once it's fully charged, it lasts up to 70 days. But not only that, once you run out of the battery, you can use the USB-C cable to charge it and with just a one minute of charge, you will get three hours of use. Now, there are other great features that include super quiet clicks and powerful 1000 lines per second scrolling. But to me, even more important fact is that it can easily be used on multiple devices and once you connect your mouse through the Bluetooth or the included wireless bolt, you can work seamlessly between computers by simply moving the cursor to the edge of the screen or by pressing the device button at the bottom of the mouse. 
Finally, the mouse comes with a number of customizable keys that can really help with efficiency. Those keys can be programmed for specific actions in Luminar Neo or any other software to speed up the editing process. For example, you can set up the mouse to control the size of your brush or switch between paint and erase modes in masking tool. Now talking about the custom keys and buttons for this mouse, I want to quickly show you how you can easily adjust them to use them in Luminar Neo. When you get the mouse, you also get application that is called Logi Options Plus. When you install it, you're going to be able to select your mouse. And in the next window, you will be able to select the buttons options. Here you can see the presets or the default presets already applied to the mouse. However, you can adjust them based on the application. You can see that I have some of the presets for the Premiere Pro, Chrome, also Excel and so on. So at this moment, Luminar Neo isn't here. However, you can click on the plus sign button and then scroll through the list until you see Luminar Neo. Once you find it, you can select it and then click on the confirm button. With the new window or the message, simply click on continue and then Luminar Neo will appear in your list. Now, how you're gonna set up your buttons is completely up to you. However, let me show you how I do it. So I set up these three buttons here, one under the thumb and the two on the side of the mouse. As I mentioned earlier, the one under the thumb, I set up to switch between the paint and erase in masking tool. After that, these two buttons, I set them up to make my brush bigger, or smaller. So to set it up, we need to select the button. While again, you need to make sure that you are on Luminar Neo. And then inside the new menu, you're going to look for keyboard shortcut. Here, simply delete the shortcut that is already there by clicking on the little circle with a cross on it and then add the key combination. Now for the bigger brush, we need to use the bracket key. And once that's done, we can then select the second button. Again, click on keyboard shortcut and add the second bracket. Now, looking at our thumb button, it's already set to X, which is the shortcut for switching between paint and erase. So that should be all set. Now we can click back to the menu. And in fact, we can switch into Luminar Neo. Here, let's go ahead and open the develop tool where we can just increase the exposure and then move into the masking. In the masking, we're going to select the brush and let's go ahead and try how our mouse works. So I'm going to use the mouse to switch between the paint and erase, which works quite well. And then to adjust the size by hitting the button in front, I make it bigger and by hitting the button behind, I make it smaller. Now, again, how you're going to set it up is up to you. Some people like to add undo or redo or other shortcuts, but it really depends on your workflow and on your personal needs. And now, before we're going to finish, I want to tell you more about our giveaway. As you can see, I have one more Logitech mouse here and I'm ready to send it anywhere around the world. So if you want to join our giveaway and get the chance to win this mouse, all you need to do is to follow our YouTube channel so you don't miss the announcement about the winner and then jump into the comment section of this video and let me know what mouse you're using right now. So to get the chance to join our giveaway and win this mouse right here, then follow our channel and let me know in the comments what mouse you're using right now now. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cloudphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. 
And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.